Um, cuts are here. Uh, right, you can see me a little bit like that. No, okay. Um, if you've read my recent community posts, you've probably seen that I finished my final exam for the semester today, and I'm celebrating it with some sushi eating. Sushi. So how do you pronounce that? I don't know. I just eat it. Um, there won't be any sheep gimmicks this time, so I'll just eat it and let you watch because I want to share this. Um, I, will, I think I'll enjoy some uh, orange juice and vodka too with this. That sounds like a fine idea. Uh, I'll probably do a composing livestream later, of which you're also aware if you've read my recent community posts. I don't know exactly what it will be. Probably depends on how drunk I'll already get right now. <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of... Um, how's this supposed to work? That's, that's simply disgusting. I suddenly remember the reason why I usually only drink vodka garbage off. How can I use it? <laughs> oh! Oh! I was supposed to strip it first. Okay, good to know. I'm throwing it away. I had massive time issues in this exam, but I'm glad that it's finally over for the semester last, and I hope that I've made it. I'm not entirely sure though. Uh, just let me enjoy the moment a little bit. I can only I can already smell that it tastes a lot like um, potatoes. That's not a very clean vodka. Okay, orange juice is still fresh. That's nice. And bread. Oh yes. Hmm. <laughs> Can buy. <sighs> well then, I'm gonna uh, give you a brief glance over my sushi, sushi plate. I bought a fairly big one this time. I actually wanted to do, uh, to buy a family Nintendo online account. I already got one person, my twin brother, uh, who I wanted to um, give free access to it. And maybe I was doing something like a lottery for some other people. I'll just give it um, to some people with a Nintendo Switch without an online account who are on my Discord. But I'm not entirely sure how it works, and I wasn't able to find a 50 euro or 35 euro Nintendo online card, so I just didn't and bought a sushi plate. <laughs> I hope this satisfies you as well. Ah, what will I start with? <laughs> Wait, I'm not sure if I've. I've really shown you the two here before. This. That's my sushi plate at the moment. Uh, some way more soy sauce than I actually need again, but it's okay. I can deal with it. I can drink it afterwards. <laughs> uh, right. If I adjust the camera angle, I won't need to stretch my back and die. What's recording this? What will I start with? I'm gonna start with a small one again. <sighs> oh, okay. oh. <laughs> you know, sometimes I can't believe that this sushi was boxed, but on the other hand, I saw the passion in the eyes of the Asian woman in the bar, so it must have some kind of quality. If there's an Asian woman with a burning flame of passion in her eyes what's preparing those sushi boxes, they must have some quality. Like, they're not perfect, they're not sushi master level. If a sushi master would try this, they'd probably call it dog food or something like that. But it must have some quality. <laughs> you can see it in the eye of the um, 
hearty Asian woman. You know what? I haven't eaten this roll with that um, white kind of fish. I've I've never never tried it before. I'm gonna try it now. You see that? You oops. Uh, you can um, barely even tell the fish from the rice because both is white and my camera quality is not the best. Like, can you see it? The the fish is completely white and I have no clue how, how this would taste. I'm mean, gonna just try it now. I just lost, lost the tooth. <laughs> okay. I know which kind of fish I'll avoid from now on. I have no clue what kind of fish this is, but I know what it looks like on sushi. And I put this knowledge to good use. I never eat this fish again. <laughs> it had literally no taste. It, 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 it tasted worse than it looked because it actually looked through the lens of the camera like rice. But the rice had some taste. <laughs> this fish had no juice. <laughs> it, I had to chew it. Not because I wanted to, not because I didn't want to swallow, but because I had to chew it. <laughs> I wouldn't call it disgusting, um, but it had no defining taste. <laughs> Well, so much for that. <laughs> I will take this one next. What is it, avocado or cucumber? It's cucumber. Mm. I'd rather take three more of those cucumber rolls, even though they're probably the sheet pissed acid of the sushi set, than one of that um, thing with the white fish on it. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm 100% sure that that, that that white fish wasn't edible. Not because it was spoiled or something, but simply because because it was just that specific part that shouldn't be eaten that just drags down the whole Gesamtkunstwerk. Now, I have no clue on how to drip with the things here without deforming them, and I definitely can't take them into my hand. I removed them by hand from the sushi box to put them onto you, onto my plate, and um, they're very, very sticky. I think I have to take them by stick, but it kind of feels unsure because they're um, round and don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, can I maybe? Uh, my stick skills are devolving, and now that wasn't a sex stroke. Oh fuck. Okay, I messed it up. Oh no, the rice is soaked in. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Excuse me, I've written a math exam today already. Um, st stuff like this may happen. Mm. Aside from the overpresence of soy sauce, this roll. Maybe my favorite roll I've ever eaten from the store yet. And I've got four of those suckers in this entire set. That's fucking awesome. <sighs> Holy fuck. Oh, 
Oh fuck. That was delicious. Next time I try it completely without soy sauce. Oh my gosh. Especially in contrast to that white fish. That was maybe the white fish is just there to add a contrast to make the rest stick out better and you're supposed to eat it right at the beginning or something. That would be a valid explanation. But also a fucking dick move, like what the fuck? <laughs> Nothing over watching an Asian, Asian boy drinking sparkling water, eh? <laughs> By the way, if some people watch it this far before my um, composing stream begins, uh, what should I try? Should I try continuing my Sonata work or should I um, start a new project? I'm calling it the Book of Love. Uh, you decide. If you even watch it this far at all. <clears throat> that role was gone, I swear. <laughs> you know, um, recently I found myself talking a lot to Christians about their beliefs and getting bashed because I'm an atheist and will soon probably um, start joining the TST. The Satanic Temple. But this sushi roll actually gave me back some of my faith. <laughs> That's how awesome it was. <laughs> I can kind of feel that my distant relative who lives in Japan and Maybe it's the sushi master, probably not, is currently shaking with a sad without even seeing this video. But <laughs> I'm just a jump pleb, I don't know how real sushi tastes. Let me enjoy this. Um, I'm gonna go for a small one again. This one is with avocado, right? Oh, it's with, oh, this one's breaking up. Yeah. Don't know break up yet, I'm a virgin. Nope, it was cucumber. Oh, I just realized that there aren't no pure avocado rolls around this time, which is quite sad because I actually really like them. They're one of my favorites. I could eat them all the day. I'd, I'd become a vegetarian, a, a, a vegan, a vegan, vegan, vegan. I have no clue. <laughs> um, if I could eat them all the day, those avocado rolls, my faves. Uh, generally, I could eat avocado all the day. They're my favorite food ever. <laughs> I shouldn't say this was planning to buy a sous vide machine and stuff for my dad to his birthday next month. It's um, not really cheap, but I've been um, getting money for it for a few months by now and then and I really hope you enjoy it um, I don't know what kind of chef he is actually like he's not a real chef he's an auxiliary worker but he really enjoys cooking and buys all st all kinds of um, cooking stuff and I thought that the sous vide machine might be just right for him so um, yeah I've uh, been building up some uh, money to buy him a sous vide machine with everything around it you may need, like uh, some beer brenner. I don't know the English word for it right now, it's that um, fire thrower you use on food to make it look crispier. A thermometer, the um, water pool. <laughs> the English gets really embarrassing right now. I know, I'm sorry. Um, I hope you enjoy it and cook some amazing dishes with it. Oh fuck, I forgot to eat. Wait. I'm not a complete Asian, I'm just half Asian. I'm allowed to do it like this.
that's how it has to be dipped. That was the perfect ratio. The rice wasn't oversaturated with soy sauce. The fish got nice uh, filament and just that was good. I'm running. <laughs> when I'll be completely Asian <laughs> in my dreams. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I was completely Asian. I'd be able to play piano probably then. <laughs> I haven't got the ratio right. I should have. I should have done the vodka and the um, clementine. Oh, that's not orange. That's clementine. Oh fuck! What am I doing with my life? Yeah, I should have done a fifty-fifty and not uh, seventy-five twenty-five. I'm gonna go for this one now. I'm getting this way to not often enough. Sorry. Uh, in my sushi boxes. So I enjoyed this probably. Ah, perfect. Let's, let's see like this, just a little bit, just a little bit dipped in it and without the rice ever touching the soy sauce now. Tile is crispy by nature. I can feel it between my tools. Oh. The kind of soy sauce just gave it exactly the right seasoning. <sighs> the rice is perfect for my measures. In my mouth with an everlasting flavor of the sea. That's a taste to behold, I tell ya. That's a flavor to behold. My sticks aren't working anymore. I should charge the battery. Now let's see what am I getting next. Okay, gotcha, bro. Oh, that's way too much wasabi. That's better. You've three seen this. This was a contact. I'm not allowed to do this. Unless I'm half Asian, which I am. Um, normally it's seen as very inappropriate to um, just suck the wasabi off the tips of your sticks. I'm avoiding this in some pretentious pseudo elitist sushi videos. <laughs> um, right now I'm allowed to do this because I'm officially half Asian in this video. Not in any other video, but in this video at last. I use way too much wasabi, but it's delicious nonetheless. If you hear some Spaniards talking in the background, that's my roommate. Oh. I'm more like my dog mate, we're not sharing a room.
just the same shop and kitchen in our dormitory. We got our own respective rooms. He's quite a nice guy. But he will stop phoning. It was awesome. I will do it exactly the, <laughs> the same way on the next Lux roll. Uh, some roll. Oh no, wait. I almost forgot. Okay, now I'm thrilled how this one tastes. And I'm gonna taste it. Okay, this one, yes, you can vaguely see what I'm pointing at. But you can see the full content. In the middle, it got some salmon. On the side, it got. Wait, let me squish it. Oh, I hope it was avocado. It's, okay, that's avocado. That's not avocado. That's cacamba. Not avocado, not avocado. Cuc avocado. Cucumber. Avocado. Cucumber. Cucumber. Okay, um, you can s vaguely see the ingredients of this one on the outer side. On the inner side, it got. Um, Oh, fatty salmon, as I've just seen, and cucumber. I will try this one next. I've got four, uh, this piece, I've got it four times in the set. I'm gonna try it one time without, um, without soy sauce. One time with soy sauce, and I leave the other ones according to which I think is better. That sounds like a plan, I guess. Okay, first, a sip of courage. That's what happens when you're too greedy. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> okay. First time I tried without soy sauce. By the part of my grandmother. This one haven't hadn't had any avocado because it just went fine without it. The fatty the, the fatty salmon was so tender. It just melted on my mouth and was fattier than any avocado could ever be. It it was amazing. I'm so I should, the cucumber wasn't there just for just because it was there, there to give me something to actually chew on. 
so that I could enjoy the taste longer. That's amazing. That's so fucking amazing, I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm not Christian, but I feel blessed. Like, deep within, I, I really feel blessed. I'm, I was struggling, should I really buy it? Like... It's 15 euro again, but then I thought, oh come on, I earned a lot of money by composing and just got it handed out. I should eat the sh sushi. So I bought that and I'm really glad I did because this is awesome. Um, I think the last time I had a sushi box of similar price, I um, had it with my crush while we were watching Detective Con movies and. I wasn't really able to appreciate the sushi. I was appreciating my crush at the time, not the sushi. I wouldn't say that I'd not appreciate my crush next time and appreciate the sushi more, but don't know that I'm eating the sushi on its own without my crush being there. The sushi is simply amazing. <laughs> like, for me, not to offend any Japanese sushi master who makes who may stumble upon this video. Um, right. Some ginger next. Mm, I love some redheads. Time for seconds, I guess. Uh, but maybe the ratio is good like it as it is. Because uh, with this ratio, I can drink more of the clementine juice. And the vodka bottle lasts longer. Next, all right. I mean, this one right now, like it's a oh fuck, I've got a vision. Okay, deja vu over. Whenever I say that I have a deja vu, it ends. That's my special trick. Um, now I'm gonna try this one. Like, Yeah, this is getting kind of annoying. I get the same thing today at the exam. It wasn't exactly my nicest experience. But hey, what can I do? What can I do? And uh, now I'm gonna try the same roll with some soy sauce. Um, I really have to only dip it for a very brief time this time because otherwise, like, oh, I've got an idea. I'm gonna just dunk this edge. Because I don't want too much soy sauce to get in here, like this, and now... You know, like, three hours ago, I was masturbating, and I came, and that experience wasn't even quite as good as this sushi roll. Like, <laughs> I may keep the last two of those rolls for the 
and I guess because they're just so good. Oh, I can't believe this. <laughs> Oh, the fuck, this is amazing. Oh. I need some sparkling water now to calm down. That's all the package sheet. I can't wait for my vacation in Japan, which will at some point eventually come. Maybe after I finish the dueling because in Japanese. <laughs> oh. <sighs> I can't believe it. This is so surreal, this experience. <laughs> Now, I can already tell that the agenda will probably not last until the end of my meal again. But hey. At some t point, I'll probably start making my own ginger and wasabi just for the sake of eating this. Like, everything is perfect. And they've even corrected the soy sauce. There are no flavor heads in there anymore. It's pure. But it got a completely different taste from normal Kikoman, and uh, for sushi, I'd actually prefer this over Kikoman soy sauce. But there's way too much wasabi, the wasabi tastes like plastic, and um, the gi ginger, there's n by far not enough ginger whenever I buy this stuff. And uh, sometimes I even have to rip the leaves apart, leaves, whatever ginger is made of, the, you know what I mean. Just to uh, get enough ginger to um, clean my appendix. No, the appendix was something else. To clean my... I forgot the word for it. To cleanse my... That thing that does weird taste stuff. It is awesome. And makes your brain feel motions through food. You know what I mean. To clean my... Not my appendix, if I clean my appendix, I'm doing something else. I don't remember, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the point is I don't have enough ginger. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I don't have enough for it. Of, 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 of it. Uh, the alcohol is slowly starting to work, which makes me very happy. Um, a cucumber piece again. I will try it with... Is it legal to try cucumber pieces with soy sauce? I'm not entirely sure if this is good behavior, or if my Asian parents will punish me to a week without rice again. On the other hand, only one part of my parents is Asian. And you know what happened to her? I brought it into the prelude to my first, to my second sonata. So I think I just be a very bad boy and dip the cucumber piece in soy sauce briefly. <coughs> yeah, I shouldn't have done this. This was a very bad idea. I thought this would be some kind of cool Lauganma kind of taste. Lauganma? No, not Lauganma. Paiwangwa kind of taste. But Lauganwa is missing. And the Lauganma is very important if you want to make Paiwangwa.
This was fucking awful. I'll never do that again. From now on, from now on, I will always listen to my Asian mom. Like what the fuck? Last time she tried to talk to me, she tried to convince me to um, play piano, and I refused. I shouldn't have refused that. I'm, I'm regretting it. I want to be a pianist. I want to be a fucking person. Can play instruments. Guys, if you have made a mom, always obey to her. Always obey to her. Like, she only wants the best for you. She always only wants the best for you. I'll do this one next. Oh wait. I forgot to um, eat the ginger. Not the lime, this is amazing, but compared to the world I've started, I haven't so much. Something about this isn't half ama isn't even half amazing as it should be. I think next time I'm eating the sushi box, I meet the white one first, then I'm eating all the small stuff. Then I'm eating the remaining three of those big, um, this thing here, you see what I'm getting at. And then I'm eating the, um, things which are similar to the one I simp. And then I'm eating the simp stuff. Anyway, this is my first time eating the sushi box. It was expected that I do some stuff wrong. And I did. But it was accounted for. Next time I'll eat the correct way. Like, not the correct way, but the way I think it be correct. You know what I'm meaning. Like, if I was a sociologist, I wouldn't be eating this, but I'm not, so I'm fucking enjoying this, and it's amazing. <sighs> it has its nice parts being not fully Asian and only half Asian. You know, like, I can eat any just, I can eat any sushi I want to eat. No matter if it's packed or not. But since I'm half Asian, it has to at least come from a sushi bar. That's the minimum condition. Mm. And deep fried sushi is off the tables, unless it's with, um, wait, what's, what was the English word for all again? Al? Ale? I'm not sure. Eel, right. Unless it's eel. Eel is allowed to be deep fried. Deep fried eel is awesome. Oh, what is oh it's paper i've got some paper sticking on my fingers interesting
you know, as much as I love this dish, the fish is definitely not spoiled, but I can tell by the taste that the rice, the rice wasn't done today, the rice is a little all off, and I can taste that, because the rice tastes exactly as the rice from my last attempt on onigiri tasted like, when I took it, and the first day it was amazing, on the second day when I took it to school after I laid for a night in the fridge, in the refrigerator, it tasted exactly like this rice, and as amazing as the sushi composition is, as an artwork, even though this is um, boxed sushi, from a manufacturing bar. I can tell that the rice isn't fresh. The rice is, I wouldn't call it trash. That is not fresh, does not mean that it's trash, but it's not as awesome as it could have been. Like, no, it got the um, aftertaste of some um, stale rice, so that, that aftertaste, like when you yeah, that when you you're experiencing rice which is from the last day and I don't really like that other than that this is simply amazing and um, at first I thought it was just my fantasy but the more I think about it the uh, rice isn't it's not at, at its height, let's say it like this. It's not bad yet, it's not spoiled, but you can clearly taste that it's not fresh. And I've paid 15 bucks for this box. I think I can demand fresh rice. <laughs> that sounded a little pricky, prickly, pricky, I don't know, and better right now. This box is still awesome, but the rice isn't at its best anymore, and the rice is very important in sushi, and now I shut up and enjoy the last combo piece. If you somehow manage to ignore the bad aftertaste of the rice, the cucumber roll is fucking amazing and the cucumber is fresh, I can taste that. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> On the other hand, um, the kind of stale, kind of not stale, the not so fresh rice. Adds another dimension of taste to the meal. That's not the dimension I want. Maybe there are per, per people who just let it stay overnight so that rice can get this kind of taste. I don't really want it. And you don't either. Or at least I hope so. Ah, I need some sparkling water. Sparkling water, sparkling. I love the sparkling water. God graves. The sparkling water. No, I kind of feel like the more I drink, the juicier 
juicier the um, ginger gets and I like that I should drink more often while eating sushi I should only eat sushi drunk <laughs> it's worth it Oh, by the way, um, the kind of counter that last time I wore a uh, communist homicidal t-shirt. Check this out. I'm not a fucking communist. I'm all... Wait, isn't just somewhere here? Oh, yes, here. Um, if you read this backwards, uh, kind of have to... Uncle Sam. Even though it looks like my two three il jaku. This means Uncle Sam if you read it the right way around. That's how nature works. I tested it. Yeah. Okay, time for the next piece. Have that drink of courage. A sip of courage. My favorite piece. <laughs> That's so much fatty tuna on top of it. I won't spoil it with too much wasabi this time. Okay. I'll briefly. Oops, sorry. I'll briefly dip it into the soy sauce with the fishy side and then On a second, third, and fourth thought, I should have left that one for the finish. Especially knowing that aftertaste of the old rice, this was so awesome. Oh, can you even imagine what the tuna tastes like? The fatty tuna that pe oh my gosh. The terrible thing about this is, I know exactly that if I go to some kind of special sushi restaurant in Japan, with some dude who's done exactly that for all of his life, longer than that, and you think like I've only done it for three or four years by now. Then sushi masks maybe for sometimes eighty years. One can only imagine how that tastes if you want to do a vacation to Japan and find out about those guys and has a lot of money. I have neither of those. <laughs> but for me right now that What's the apex of sushi? Oh. Oh. Holy fuck. I'm amazed. Like, imagine masturbating and then coming, but doing that with your mouth. That's awesome.
I still have to process that one moment, please. <sighs> okay. I think that oh, On this one, I don't even bother the aftertaste of the rice. It's just so. It vanishes and all of that fatty fish. <sighs> to quote the Kimaguro cook, he's my favorite YouTuber by the way. If you watch Kimaguro cook as well, then comment me. And we may talk about some of his videos. He's my favorite YouTuber by far. Um, closely followed by Musical Basics. <laughs> wait, I, I don't even know if I like him that much. Oh, I, wait a second. I don't even know if I um, like him that much as a YouTuber. Even though his music is simply amazing. He's by far my favorite modern musician. And he's closely followed by um, Maguga Foods and with um, Sylvie Everything. Those are my uh, favorite channels. <sighs> this is so delicious that my nose just drooled. It's amazing. <laughs> what about I now? I've got. Two of my second favorite pieces and my single favorite piece. Okay, one of my second favorite piece. Then I lead my favorite piece. Then I lead the two remaining of my second favorite pieces. And um, then I lead a spinal piece, my favorite piece. Okay, let's do it like that. Can't even. Oh, oh wait, I was the the ham just half Asian. And I'm fucking pleased. <laughs> My second favorite piece. Oh. Okay, I'm a... <laughs> You know what I don't like about the things? Things they just way too easily fall apart. I'm taking this one by hand actually. Then I'll try to dip it in soy sauce somehow. So many flavors. Ow. Oh. Okay. So sweet. Ah. And the aftertaste of the not so fresh rice isn't even there. It's not even buried there, it's just non existent.
change of opinion. That's my favorite. <laughs> That was so awesome, I wish I could share this with you. But unless ASMR video, <laughs> this is just you as ASMR. Somebody told, that, told me that he can feel my satisfaction through the camera. I hope you can get your fresh of satisfaction. I don't know if anybody who watches this video has bought the sheet to a month or any other piece of me. But I just assume that 99% of every person who bought a sheet from um, the music I compose is subscribed to this channel just because I like the sheet so much. That's all. And maybe got, okay, let's say 75%. Oops, sorry. If somebody, how long is this video go? Oh fuck, I'm already eating for 57 minutes straight. <laughs> and just recording it, uploading it, this will be a hell. Uh, let's just say that 75% of you are uh, subscribed to me. And let's say that at least one person who bought my sheet has watched it thus far. Thank you so fucking much. It's not only been good on my self-consciousness and on my development as a, as a musician because um, like the storm on all the achievements I had until now has kind of made uh, musical basics, Leono, um, let's just say you got a personal interest in me and my development as an artist. And the critique he gave me on my music is very valuable, and I owe him so much. And just as much I owe to you guys who bought my sheet. Because you actually made this happen, and I can't quite believe it. This is only just the very start. I'm talking like I'm a very famous composer right now, which I'm certainly not. But I'm already so very grateful that you guys gave me this opportunity. And uh, thank you. To you, Leon, as well, even though you will never even attempt to watch this video because it's already so fucking darn long. I'm <laughs> just so grateful. Thank you all for this. And thank you all for helping me being able to afford this kind of sushi. Like, I could uh, buy this 10 times. Which I will not because this is very expensive and I already spent quite a lot of money on squid plushies, right? I did an unboxing video before and the squid cosplay. I oh wait, this uh, that's Hero Brian. I would turn him around. That's my squid. <laughs> um just say <coughs> thank you so much. I'm not a full Asian, but I don't need to be Asian to be allowed to bow down before you. It's just so awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll try to compose as amazing music as possible for me and to develop as much as possible for me over the next time as quickly as possible for me to <laughs> satisfy what I owe you. We've just crossed the one hour mark, so I don't think anybody will actually hear this. But it feels good to have finally said this. I owe, I owe so much to you. <sighs> anyway, one piece of ginger ale and... I haven't eaten in so much time that my sticks just started to stick on the paper. And then I'll eat my previous favorite. No, just my second favorite. With a little soy sauce. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh, oh no, and it's falling apart. Oh fuck. Okay, this had way too much soy sauce and it's falling apart. That. Ah, 
That's just the dead. Too much soy sauce, too much salt. You know, at least this is a sign that it's complete. I have to swallow this just so much salt. That was one piece of sushi wasted. That's plenty wasted, and there's no other part for it. That's at least a sign that it's handmade because it was, if, if it was made in a machine, it'd have a considerably way worse. Taste quality, quality and taste and flavor, but it wouldn't be fall apart. It wouldn't fall apart because stuff that tastes bad never falls apart. <laughs> just like uh, try an overcooked steak, it won't fall apart. It'll just be overcooked and you'll break it tooth whilst eating it. <clears throat> so much salt. Fuck. Well, the fur first gum shit happens. And right afterwards, he invented the emoji. Yeah. This is our last and the vital piece of ginger. Let's just eat it. It's just so big and it's so individable. And now that wasn't a sex joke. It just wasn't, I'm sorry. Well That may have been a sex joke. Don't tell me that this one is falling apart as well. Just don't fall apart. It's falling apart. I need some sparkling water because it fell apart. And when it fell apart, you need some sparkling water to drown your feelings, to drown your pain. And when it fell apart, you need some what dark lemon time. I don't know right now. I drank too much sparkling water. I need a break. Oh fuck, I need 
<sighs> oh, wait, I'm looking where I can do this. Change my mind, by the way. This one was the best one after all. <laughs> so I made this one last five And I would take both of them hard right now because if I eat them I hurt right and all the power. <laughs> I got some of hair. It's better each time I try it. It's just so amazing, I can't believe it. Oh fuck. Nope. I left some cumber. <sighs> it wasn't the cumber. Oh, it was the potato. <sighs> Can't believe I just left some avocado on the oh, plate. This is really, he really is really good. Oh. I'm just so happy right now. I can't believe it. You know, 
might say that this is a one lifetime kind of meal, but that would be a lie. Because I can buy it any time. I have 15 units by the disc. I have a student. <laughs> Please buy more of my cheese. Okay, change it, okay. The thing is, if I leave this too often, I just lose interest in it and it wouldn't be the same, but since I'm only eating sushi so sparingly, it's so awesome every time, no matter whether it is, it is from a bar which just does sushi in boxes, or from a real sushi master which I've never experienced, it's just so awesome. <laughs> and I'm so satisfied by this. Thank goodness this isn't have happening more often than two times a month, if not two times a year, if not four times a year. Something like that, I don't know. It's getting better with every piece. Depends, I don't know if it's eating the peas or drinking the juice, but it's just so awesome. Ah, I should drink alcohol more regularly whilst eating sushi, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, look at this. My hair is so long already that I can eat it. <laughs> Today I ate some kebab and I accidentally seasoned my hair in the meat. Then I ate my hair. Sorry, that was weird and I didn't really want to do that, it just happened. Oh yes, not so fresh wise from yesterday, and purely without any fish, that's the experience. Please, but I have to get up some carriage. Some carriage. Some carriage. Some carriage. <sighs> oh, the air is kind of getting dense in here. My windows closed for too long because I don't want to hear. To have passengers and neighbors here what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Oops, that just slipped out. And I'm ready for the final piece. Just look at those wiggly bastard. Oh.
I'm speechless. <laughs> if you ever get to eat sushi like this, definitely drink some alcohol and enjoy it just the right way because this was the definition of awesome. <sighs> Sleep it or not. <laughs> Oh no. What? Who's ready for some wasabi burn and soy sauce drinking right now? I will take a quick sip of. Yeah, natürlich ist mein Warbrassel. Mit Colon Syra versetzt aus dem Quintus Crow Classic with was in here uh, abgefüllt am Quell Art Brixel Deutschland Auszug aus der Mineral Russia Analyse vom 5th 2009 der Institut Rames Bad Kissing in GmbH E97723 of a Thalba and one liter in a wall water aus der Quintus Quale sind enthalten Cashion MG per L Natrium and a plus 20 Calium Q K plus two Magnesium MG two plus eighteen point two Calcium C A to the power of two plus ninety seven Anion MG per liters Chloride C L to the power of minus what the fuck is this supposed to mean mathematically 4.6 sulfate SO4 to the power of 2 minus. Oops, that was an accident. 14.1 hydrogen carbonate HCO index 3 to the power of minus 4. 
115.0 for Sullen Lick Schützen Kühl und Upsides von Geruchsbildenden Stoffen Legend. Sorry, that's about mindestens halber bis sehr Halsbereich oder Flaschenzackel. Eine Marke von Rare. Hmm, interesting. Interesting enough that we discover it and to be a drunk. Anyway, time for a Sabbath burn and Sussex drinking. You see, this amount of wasabi, I eat this now. You see, this amount of wasabi, I eat this now. Oh. Is that burned up? Oh fuck, I, oh fuck, I got what's out there. <clears throat> yeah. Das war definitiv zu viel wasabi. Yes, that was definitely too much wasabi. And now it's time for the soy of the sauce, for the sauce of the soy. Ja, das war definitiv zu viel von der Soße des Ojas. Yes, that was definitely too much soy sauce. No, yes. That was definitely way too much soy sauce. Um, that note. I will end this video now. I hope you enjoyed this.